So today we are back on eFootball 2022. The last time I played this game was on the 26th of December 2021. So it's been a couple months now and I wanted to see if anyone is still playing eFootball. I think there's a few people, but I don't know. Like, it's it's been pretty dead. Not much chatter about eFootball at the moment. Everyone's waiting for that update version 1 to come out, which is going to be the massive update. People are saying it's around May that it's going to be coming out. I'm not really sure at the moment. It's got to be around May probably. But uh, yeah, we're taking a look here. It's been a while since I saw Mr. Messi on the front. So let's see if eFootball still has some people playing. We're going to be playing online today, so we'll see what happens there. Of course, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like for me. It always helps. And make sure you subscribe for more FIFA, eFootball, all that kind of stuff. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some FIFA coins, check out Mule Factory. The link will be in the description. If you use my code VAPEXFOOT, you also get 5% off. All right, so here we go. We have a European Club Championship on at the moment. Pre-season match campaign volume number three underway. Play matches and win amazing rewards. It's still match authentic. There's no creative match. What is a creative match anyway? I forgot. Game plan, my team, contract. Still can't do any of that stuff. It's the same menus as well. We're going to be taking a look at our inbox here. So it looks like we've got some uh, inbox messages. So we have noted a display issue for pre-season match campaigns. Why is there still issues in this game? Seriously. How broken is this game? We have noted a display issue where the number of wins and losses for the preseason campaign shown in the match history does not match what is shown in the ranking website. Preseason match campaign issue as well. There is a known issue in the preseason match campaign 3 where you may be asked multiple times to agree to the terms of use. Seriously, a terms of use bug. Specifically, if you try to join from the banner shown in the eFootball top page, you will be asked to agree to the terms of use even if you have already done so in the past. Okay. Preseason match campaign volume 3. Thanks for playing eFootball. In order for you to enjoy eFootball, we are holding the preseason campaign 3. Participate in eligible events during the campaign and you can receive rewards after the version 1 update goes live according to the number of matches you played and goals you scored. Play in the preseason match campaign 3 to win a chance still that will allow you to sign a legendary player. You'll have the chance to sign one of the 11 players so don't miss the opportunity to add amazing talent to your team. The players available are Aldair, Dennis Irwin, Pirlo, Cafu, Burkamp, Badistuta, Luis Figo, Peter Cech, Maldini, Rivaldo, and Nakamura. All right, so it looks like we've got a campaign. So I guess there's some people grinding out this game still to try and get those things. There was this online match campaign, but that was from November, so not really important for today's video. Apology from admin, the 13th of March. They're still sending out apologies. It's been like five months since the game came out, and we still got apologies from the admin. How bad is this game? <laughs> They're still sending out apologies. 10,000 GP, I'll take that. So this is what we're going to be doing today, European Club Championship. Pre-season match campaign volume 3 underway. Play matches and win amazing rewards. In this event, you'll be able to choose from a roster of European. And there's uh, no more words there. So we have to open up this thing. European powerhouse clubs. This event is eligible for the pre-season campaign 3 rewards. Depending on the number of matches you played and the number of goals you scored, you will receive rewards after update 1 goes live. So yeah, I mean, if you played it, it's probably a little bit too late for me to start this campaign. But if you played it a lot... When update 1 comes out, you'll be getting a lot of these uh, rewards here. Alright, so we spoke about the terms of use bug, and of course I copped the terms of use bug here. I've already agreed to these terms of uh, uses so many times. Let's accept that. So at least uh, they let me know about this bug before it happened. But yeah, we've got the teams here. A couple uh, unlicensed teams like Real Madrid and stuff. We've got Milano RN2, the Juventus Barcelona by Munich PSG licensed and Man United licensed as well. We have to go with Man United once again, you know. I, I just watched the game against Spurs. They beat them 3 2. Ronaldo was on fire. So I've got to use Manchester United today. Aim for one wins. Max number of matches five. Aim for two wins. Aim for three wins. We're just going for probably one win today. So now the fun part begins. Will we find a match? I don't know. But matchmaking area, gradually increase search area, search nearby area only. We'll have to start with the nearby area only because you don't want to be playing someone that's a whole way across the world. It's not going to be a good experience. And let's see, we'll start with that and we'll gradually, you know, expand if needed. Last time I did this, I swear I could have went to KFC, got a nice chicken, uh, fried chicken box there or something, had the drink, had the chicken pieces, had the burger as well, and we would still be looking for a match in eFootball. So hopefully, because I live in Australia, my eFootball experience is not going to be ruined today. Well, I don't think there's anyone playing eFootball 2022 in Australia, guys, because uh, I've been here for about 30 seconds to a minute, and we're still searching for an opponent. I think I'm the only one in Australia playing eFootball at the moment. If you live in Australia, guys, this is your eFootball experience. You're stuck watching the matchmaking screen more than actually playing the game. So let's back out of that. I can't wait any longer. We're not going to find anyone in Australia, boys and girls. No one in Australia playing eFootball besides me. Let's upgrade the 
matchmaking setting now to gradually increase search area. I've been here for about 30 seconds and we're still searching for an opponent. Is anyone still playing eFootball, please? There's got to be someone out there. All right, so it's best for me to actually do no limit to search area. I don't know who we're going to come up against, but it's definitely going to be someone from the other side of the world. Hopefully we find someone. I can't be here forever, man. It's been like three, four minutes. I swear, I could have went to McDonald's, had some lunch, and this thing would still be searching for an opponent. We have found an opponent, two bar. This is going to be a little bit, I don't know, a little bit dodgy maybe. Hopefully the connection's good. I have to take it. He's the only guy that's playing eFootball. So we need Bruno Fernandes. Uh, McTominay will bring Pogba there. Ronaldo goes up top. Rashford comes in on the left or right. Sancho goes to the right. Juan Basaka, Lindelof, Maguire's got to go. Um, Varane, got to keep Varane there. How do you have Varane on the bench? Lindelof, got to go. Juan Basaka, Tellez, David De Gea. It's not bad. I think it's all right. In terms of tactics, I think we've still got the same five tactics. So we'll just do quick counter. All right, so we've got Lombardia versus Manchester United at eFootball Stadium, the best stadium in the world. And uh, let's see how eFootball is at the moment. Hopefully the connection's not too dodgy. It looks a bit choppy already, but um, hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, it definitely plays the same. The moment I start controlling the players, I've been playing FIFA, you know, for a long time. But the moment I come to PES, look at the slowness. Oh my goodness. The slowness kills me. The responsiveness kills me. Unresponsive online. Offline's not as bad, but already down 1-0. Yeah, I mean, I'm pressing the pass button. And uh, there's that good half a second delay. It's like the signal has to travel across the world. Uh, of course, my experience is going to be worse because I'm on two bar at the moment. But yeah, don't play this game if you're playing two bar connections. Yeah, you need to accommodate for that half a second delay when you play this sort of game on two bar connection as Bruno Fernandes has a hit. I know there's a campaign and they want like 10 matches, you get rewards and stuff, but it's very hard to even survive 10 matches in eFootball. One Basaka has just gone through the ad board, but it's very hard to survive 10 matches. Look at the crowd there, still looks pixelated. They definitely need to bring that update one out, and it needs to be good as well. Hopefully, you know, they, they don't bring that one update out, and then it still looks the same. You know, they, they need to overhaul this game a lot visually, and uh, yeah, even on the ball and stuff. Jekko. This guy plays all right. This guy's probably been playing like 45 matches of eFootball because he's, uh, he's belting me at the moment. But the problem is, like, my responsiveness is laggy. He's probably got a good connection. I don't, so... It's very hard. I would not be able to survive 10 matches on this game. Even even playing 4 or 5 matches online would be enough for me. Like It's, it's just because of the connection. I wish I had like 5 bar connection. It probably would play a lot better, a lot more smoother. But there's just no one in my local areas. Bruno Fernandes picks it up. Remember when you could like grab people and throw them to the ground? The ref wouldn't even care. <laughs> that was the peak eFootball. That was mad. That was actually fun. Um, you could throw them on the ground. There was bugs on the corner kicks and stuff. It's like that stuff there annoys me. Sancho just runs out. This guy's playing like Ronaldinho, bro. Look how good he is. He's hit the post. Should have been three, I think. It'll be a miracle if this doesn't end 6-0, literally. Let's go to Ronaldo. Ronaldo's my only hope today. And uh, Scrini has outpaced him. But he's got it here. Look at that dribbling. Beautiful play. Oh, no. That's probably the closest we're ever going to get to an attacking chance there. Let me know if you're still playing eFootball, if you gave it a bash, if you're doing the campaigns and stuff. There's got to be some people out there still playing it. But maybe the PES fans are playing PES 21 still. I've seen PES 21 modded on PCs and stuff, and it looks better. Gossens coming down the left, plays it inside. It's going to be another goal here. Latara Martinez, and he loses it. Let's see if we can do a quick counter. Brozovic has 99 pace. Did you see the pace on Brozovic? What the hell? Guy's got 99 pace, bro. Calm down, Brozovic. What, are they, what did they feed him before the game? My goodness. Sanchez plays it across. He, he's actually playing very good. But Lutaro Mati, he loves that fake shot, bro. That's all he's done. That's literally all he's done, that fake shot over and over. And slots it past the keeper every single time. We've reached half time. It's already 4-0. I'm predicting about 8-0 by the time the match is over. But it's been a terrible half. I still don't know how to dribble in this game. That's another problem. And we've got Ronaldo here. Look at that. Nice pass. What are we going to do with Ronaldo, though? He's going to cross it in. Oh, what a ball. What a, what the hell? Come on, man. What a ball. you got to score there, bro. you got to score there. No way, Bruno Fernandes. That was our best chance of the day, man. The best chance of the day. You don't do fancy flicks when we're 4-0 down and we need that goal, man. No fancy flicks. That, that, ugh, should have subbed him off, man. Should have subbed him off. And this guy's going to score again. He's onside. Watch, watch the fake shots. That's all he's going to do. The fake shots. Look, look, look. Yep, another one, another one, another one. Slots apart. Come on, man. This is a cheat code. This is a cheat code, man. This should be illegal. Konami, are you watching this? Watch the fake shots. Look at this. 
Is this how you're supposed to dribble in real life football? The fake shots galore. Look at this. Look at this and it works every time. It literally works every time, my goodness. Go to the eSports. This guy should be in the eSports scene just doing those little uh, fake shots. This guy would win the whole comp, mate. It works every time. It's worked six times already. I'm trying to play properly and it's not even worth it because I should just be doing fake shots the whole time and I'd probably score. The fake shots will start. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It works. Oh my goodness. It's been the same goal seven times. No way. Pogba chip it over the top. Looking for someone. They hit it. Can we score? No. What? Come on, man. How do you not score? Look at this. The fake shots again. The fake shots again. And he's still got it here. He's still got it. It's going to be another goal. The same thing. Get the ball off this guy. Seriously. My goodness. Sanchez. Jekko. There's nothing we can do. There's another goal coming. Look at this. He's got four of my guys there just watching him. I've never seen so many fake shots in my life. Well, we got to 10-0. And it's probably one of the darkest days in my YouTube career. But you've seen the same goal about 10 times today. So if you're playing eFootball, you might want to try what this guy does. Fake shots galore. And it works every single time. I don't know which player scored, but jeko has got a hat-trick. He's probably scored about six goals. Lataro Martinez, the other four. But is anyone still playing eFootball? Well, for me, I can't enjoy it because I'm playing on two-bar connections. There's no one in my local areas that even plays this game. So I guess if you're in Europe or... Uh, maybe America and stuff, you might have more luck. I can't enjoy this. I couldn't even do the whole campaign, like 10 matches or something, because it would just be like this. There's no point. I can't play online eFootball. I'll wait for version 1 to see if it's any better. But yeah, if it's, if it's like this with the bad connection and stuff where I live, I can't enjoy it, man. I'll just cop 10 nil every game. But anyway, a bit of comedy for today's video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like for me. It always helps. Make sure you subscribe for more eFootball FIFA videos. I'll see you next time.